about a flat out shocking Twitter assault this morning on independent conservative candidate Evan McMullen, the candidate who could put the deep red state of Utah in play. With that in mind, Fox Business host Lou Dobbs is now taking on McMullen directly, starting with a pretty astonishing tweet. Dobbs, talking about McMullen, tweeted this, Look deeper. He's nothing but a globalist, Romney, and Mormon mafia tool. Joining us now is independent candidate for president, Evan McMullen, and his running mate, Mindy Finn. Thank you both for joining us so much. Great Thank to you. be with you. Thank you. Thanks. So, Evan, what do you have to say to Lou Dobbs? Oh, I thought it was sort of silly, really. Uh, but, you know, this is part and parcel for what we've experienced from Trump supporters and from the Trump campaign. Not that Lou Dobbs is officially a part of the campaign, but since then, the Mormon Mafia attack has really picked up on. And, you know, it's, it's sort of like I said, it's a silly thing. Really, our, our team is formed of people from all different faiths and no faith at all. And, and our supporters are the same. So. Uh, this is something that happens with Trump supporters or with the Trump campaign. They attack people based on their religion or race or who they are, their gender. This is what we stand against. And so I guess in a way it's sort of fitting that they would attack us for this. You know, Mindy, Mike Pence uh, was in Utah yesterday, attended a big rally of voters there. And he said there were only two names on the ballot that have a chance to be president of the United States of America. By that, he meant Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, and the implication there is that a vote for Evan McMullen and Mindy Finn, you know, is a vote for Hillary Clinton. What's your, what's your response to the Indiana governor? Well, I think the Trump-Pence campaign is concerned about Utah, and rightly so, because here in Utah, voters are standing up and rejecting both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. They're standing on principle. They're saying that standing up for the rights of all people, men and women, people of all races and, and every religion and for the Constitution is more important than sticking to a party. So I, I think that the Trump-Pence campaign is, is rightly scared. The reality is that in Utah, there's actually two people who could win. It's Evan McMullen and our ticket and Donald Trump. And right now, we're leading or tied in most of the polls to the, to the point where the vice presidential candidate with Donald Trump had to come to this state at a time when, if this was another Republican who was truly a conservative, that would not be a problem. They would be winning this state. Right, but Evan, you say you win Utah, you have six electoral votes. I mean, there is no path to victory after that. I mean, we're kind of looking broadly well, when we're looking true, at right. the top of the when yeah. we're looking at the when we're looking at the map to 270, you don't get there. Well, that, that's just not true. Sorry. But if the race is very close, then actually we could block both of them by winning a state or two. That's the truth. That's the math. And, it's, it's and then been, you want to take know, it to the House written of Representatives. About a lot. The, and then the, you want to take it to the House the of reality Representatives. Is, and then what, how do you win in the House of Representatives? Well, we think we have a better chance of winning in the House of Representatives than Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump because the House of Representatives will likely still be under the control of the Republicans. We're the only conservative ticket in this race. And given all the trouble that Donald Trump has given the Republican Party during this campaign, uh, is I, I just think that we'll have a better chance. We, we align with House conservatives on most issues. And if they're, unless they're going to be very cynical about their votes, uh, I, I think we'll be in a good place. We'll have to compete. That's true. Uh, but I like our chances in that case. The reality is now, however, that Hillary Clinton is dominating D Donald Trump by such a large margin. He's been such a terrible candidate. Mindy and I warned of this even before he was nominated. We warned the Republican Party not to nominate him because he wouldn't be able to compete even with Hillary Clinton despite her flaws. And now that's playing out. He's going to lose likely in a landslide in some, unless something dramatic happens in the next week and a half. And so we're calling on people to join us, vote on principle, vote your conscience. Let's start a new conservative movement, which we've already done, I believe, but let's move that forward. It'll be a movement that will welcome all kinds of people into, the, into it, uh, people, women, minorities, uh, millennials, everyone, and, Maybe, uh, uh, and, and we'll provide this country the kind of leadership it needs. You said Donald Trump is losing badly. He, he did pick up an important non-endorsement uh, in the state of Utah overnight. Congressman Jason Chaffetz, who... If you can follow the bouncing ball here, at one point was supporting <laughs> Donald Trump, then not supporting Donald Trump. Overnight put out this tweet. He said, I will not defend or endorse Donald Trump, but I am voting for him. Hillary Rodham Clinton is that bad. HRC is bad for the USA. You know, Mindy Finn, what's, what's your analysis of, of that move from Jason Chaffetz? Well, first of all, that tweet doesn't make sense. Um, the definition 
endorsement means that you support somebody. So I just I think that's really silliness, and voters see right through that. We're endorsed by millions of voters across this country. That's who's validating our campaign. That's who's fueling our movement. That's who's rejecting both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I think it's really unfortunate that leaders, these are supposed to be leaders in our country, and they're not standing up for the American people. They're not rejecting candidates who don't stand for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all people and all races. For, you know, they're not standing up to, to Donald Trump, who's insulted our veterans repeatedly. And so I, I think this is just really unfortunate. This is, this is why we're getting so much traction on such a short time and such a low budget, is because voters are, are tired of leaders who are not working on their behalf. Evan McMullen, Mindy Finn, thanks so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thanks. Thanks.